All right, what's good, listeners? Our guest joining us for Strike a Chord is Finnish country folk band Jonas and I on the Chris Collins Show Millennial Talk Show. And also keep a lookout for a brand new podcast series off the fret featuring the Blowies as our inaugural guest. More music, more music talk. I love these conversations from across the pod. We're in LA. You guys are somewhere in Northern Finland, I'm assuming. And how's it going, fam? Yeah. Well, good. All right. Hey, that's what I like to hear. And FYI, I'm not just a weird American. <laughs> yeah. I had a facial yesterday and my face swelled up like elephantitis, like huge. <laughs> so I'm covered, but I do sure. really have a face under here. <laughs> so she wanted to make it happen, okay, guys? Okay. Because we know how special this mind. is. <laughs> We've been so fortunate to be able to interview artists from all across the world. And what I find super special about you guys is uh, you guys got a brand new single out from your upcoming album, Where From Here, and the song is called Shouts From The Coal Mine. And uh, in the spring of 2019, uh, what I was reading about you guys, the band went into the middle of the forest of northern Finland to create what you guys say as the roadside cows turned into roadside reindeers. So what kind of drugs do <laughs> Finland take? Or is that just the normal lifestyle of Finland? <laughs> I mean, I got to know what's good. <laughs> what's that? Lots of coffee. <laughs> Lots of coffee. Oh, okay. So yeah. you guys got some of that more high grain. I'm guessing the double shot. Is that the lifestyle in Finland? I mean, you guys are considered yeah. the happiest people in the world. I mean, what made you feel like you had to leave your, your I guess, your hometown, your village to have to uh, distance off into the middle of the forest in northern Finland uh, to pick up inspiration for the new work of music for Jonas and I. Uh, I think it was an escape from the uh, daily routines. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean by daily yeah. routine? That's a Away daily thing world. that someone in Finland would be doing is just randomly wandering off in the middle of a forest to pick up inspiration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <It's> well, like, <laughs> to get away, to get away. And that's your guys' yeah, normal idea to. of getting away? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Because, you yeah, know, I what, so. I, what I found Running fascinating... Running with the reindeers, yeah. Running with the reindeers, okay, gotcha. Because I found that really fascinating because, like, in your latest single, uh, Shouts from the Coal Mine, you, uh, Jonas, you sing this line in, in, the, in the lyrics, especially right in the opening. It goes, I got my heart in a coal mine. It's been there for a long time. What is this reference that you're, you're that you're trying to invey when when you sing this song? It's uh, it's about I think uh, not able to show your emotions or something like that. The heart is trapped in uh, like a place called coal mine. Yeah, you know, because Jonas, when I yeah. when I hear your voice, you're very like a settling dude. You you remind me very much like a Kurt Cobain on a level you know you're like this kind of like this shy dude that kind of keeps it in but the minute we see you set on stage there's this powerful tone this vocals everything comes out i just i go that's the same guy i mean uh so i mean how, how do you how do you warm yourself up to get prepared to hit the main stage because obviously you guys did take a little break before covid happened and then obviously COVID comes yeah. in and throws everybody for a loop. And so how do you, how do you keep up that progression uh, during this time of a lot of downtime? I think you can't, it's just, <laughs> you have timetables and then when you have to go on stage then you go on stage and that's it. <laughs> I, think you <laughs> right. I love it, man. <laughs> and I mean, and for, for the rest of the band, I mean, what does that song mean to you guys? Yeah. It's a special song because it was the last one we did for the new album. And it was like we did all the songs we were uh, meant to do. And it was like this bonus song. We were uh, already wrapped up everything we needed to that day. And it was just like a spare time. And we did that, so that song and it came now first. So it's pretty special. I find that actually insane like because that. you know what? You know what's a very similar story to that? ACDC's Back in Black. That was the last track ever recorded <laughs> yeah. for that album. And who would have ever thought that that would have been the main single 
on your yeah. on their upcoming record and the same thing applied with that. you guys i find that really cool because sometimes i'm sure yeah. you guys are creating music and you're going this one is it this is the banger this is what everybody's <laughs> gonna love and then you go oh i guess we got an extra studio day which is what i'm assuming happened right i mean you guys had an extra studio day yeah. jonas yeah. you were humming something yeah uh playing some what some uh guitar riff is that how it went down i mean uh it's like talk to me what what was, what the, was that was like pre previous night before the uh the, the last day of recording i just you know i had this uh this kind of guitar thingy and i just yeah. started singing something and first thing that came to came out of my mouth was that I, that i uh i forgot my heart in a coal mine so, I love it. I mean, it's just one of those things that kind of slip out. I mean, personally with me, when I heard the coal mine, I was thinking about an American film, you know, October Sky. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever seen that film. <laughs> Might be foreign language to you guys, you know, with Jake Gyllenhaal. But I just go, I wonder where that inspiration came from. But I want to show the listening audience how special you guys are. This is a brand new track from Jonas and I. Check this out now. Our, fin our Finland friends, Shouts of the Coal Mine. Jonas and I, they are from Finland. They got an incredible sound. That is their brand new single out now on all audio streaming services. That is Shouts of the Coal Mine. I love and it, I guys. I love <laughs> how much like your English, especially in the songs. I would never know you were not from <laughs> mid-America. Like my family are coal miners. Like that's where we all came from, the Oklahoma Hills, oh, okay. like the coal mining, and hearing you throws me to them dolly parton 
all yeah. the time. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, your English is amazing. <laughs> Kudos. Thank so, you. yeah, guys, talk to me. Like, how did the <laughs> band get started? How did this all form out? I mean, was the Jonas, was this like something at, at first, like a like a solo project of yours? And then you like, uh, then later on was like, I brought on another person, though I went Jonas and I, and then I went, oh, shoot, now I got even more members. I got more of an uh, orchestra. Sometimes in your songs, it's like, how many band members are yeah, in the group? On. There's so much musical elements just in that one track we just heard. Uh, how did the band start? Uh, actually, we started playing just like duo geeks and and, and uh, playing covers and own songs and stuff like that. And then, uh, then later on, I think, we were making the record. Yeah. And we were starting to think, damn, we need a band. All right. <laughs> you, so you guys uh, had all this um, music catalog. It kind of really wasn't going yeah, anywhere because, because you guys all felt like a family project on all these tracks. And you were like, well, it's not necessarily yours. It's not necessarily <laughs> Rope's. It's not, you know, so like, yeah. how do we do this? So that's how it sort of started. That's kind of fascinating on a level. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because at first, there was like only acoustic guitar and piano and then we were arranging trumpets and uh, drum stuff and yeah. we needed to get some <laughs> extra yeah. okay go, so. and like and so how did you we guys all, and, but how did you guys all become uh musically inclined i mean was this all taught through uh you know through music education through schooling in finland or was this something that you guys literally picked up from uh your parents uh <laughs> kind of I, I think kind of everything like yeah, like yeah. you said some some of us were in schools and some of us just you know uh played enough and uh to learn and uh, yeah yeah we think. live in a small city so we oh, okay we got a little bit of a glitch on you guys i didn't hear the what's the small city you live in sorry it glitched out for a second on your guys's end yes uh, we're living Cool. Cool. Yeah. it's like up north <laughs> up yeah. north and oh, yeah. okay so totally that leads me to, to like, my next question yeah, because obviously yeah yeah but that leads so it's coolville okay that sounds interesting that sounds like something out of like the next wanda vision season two coolville <laughs> is gonna that's where wanda's been living this whole time <laughs> no wonder you guys haven't got out you know because you're stuck in that town but that leads me to my point because you guys are in a small place right and i mean obviously every musician they get yeah. into a brain funk their creativity uh goes nowhere and what are some some of these hobbies that you guys do in finland uh to kind of boost up that kind of creative juices i like to go fishing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fishing Ice that's okay me. okay yeah but There's nothing sure. wrong with fishing. I yeah. mean, you kind of said that in a weird way. Like, I'm not really sure if I should no. tell an American I, I fish. It's like, <laughs> 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 okay, so fish is something you like to do. A sauna. <laughs> Sit in a sauna, yeah. okay. But, but you know what I find? Yeah, I want to hole in the ice and just dip in. Stop it. <laughs> you really be doing that? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Why? Yeah. There's nothing that sounds yeah. good about Every that. Week. Yeah, yeah. Every week. It's Why good. though? Yeah. Yeah, that I sounds mean, terrible. I mean, you're like the you're like an NFL star over here, JJ Watt. You know, in the middle of Arizona, cutting holes in it. <laughs> you know, like, that's insane. But I did want to talk to you guys about the music scene in Finland because, like, how would you guys describe it? When I think of Finland, I read that it's a happy place. Okay, cool. Uh, you guys are telling me that you see um, reindeer turn it. Uh, go from cows to reindeer it makes me think you guys are into psychedelic rock i don't know maybe some lo-fi synth <laughs> i mean what are some of the elements that you would hear in finland i think musically wise it's like uh, finland is known to be uh i think metal af scenes. after yeah, yeah after norway it's the, like metal Oh, okay. So you guys would be kind of competing with that yeah, kind of, yeah, so of a genre. So you okay, see, um, do you guys compete with yeah. Frozen? Like Olaf? Yeah. Frozen? Do you guys compete with that? Yeah. Because that's yeah. what I think of when I think of <laughs> I had a like, I was so confused for a second. I'm like, Frozen? Olaf? <laughs> I, I, get, I hear you. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. I, so I guess that's a fair analogy. You guys are in competition with Olaf from, <laughs> from 
<laughs> that's so silly. But I, what I do find really cool about the next song we're about to uh, be playing on the Chris College Show Millennial Talk Show is I know you guys in 2017 decided to put a country folk spin to Finland's first regional anthem, which I found uh, pretty yeah, cool because yeah. when I first heard it, 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 you know, like I guess with me in the USA, we're always known as like very patriotic. You guys are more of like a more of a settling tone. I guess that kind of resembles the happiness and you know the laid back tone that I'm even getting from you guys right now uh, via the internet. And uh, I can only imagine how gratifying it was to be recognized by the president of Finland and even the first lady for your guys's reimagined spin. So uh, why did Jonas and I want to produce a new version of Savo's song? Uh, we were asked to do it. <laughs> oh, so you guys were uh, like, <laughs> well, well, okay, that's actually really funny. So what would have happened if you guys said politely no to the president of Finland? How do you think he would have responded? Never. I mean, they're supposed to be happy people, right? Does he, but does he put on a <laughs> fake smile and he's angry? I mean, how would you guys talk? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was really uh, like interesting project to, uh, to, to, to get involved and, and it was a celebration of 100 years of uh, independence independence yeah. of Finland and it was really a like a challenge for us to make a, yeah. the first like really old song to a modern day version like how, how would we do it yeah I mean there's tons of Finland greats yeah, yeah. I mean, there's tons of Finland uh, yeah. great musicians out there, and I mean, they decided to choose you guys. I mean, that's that's insane. I didn't even know about yeah. any of that. And we're gonna be uh, playing that song right now, so you can check out Jonas and I. This song is their reimagined spin of Savo's song. So dear to me as here 
Nothing has a sweeter sound than calling out so high and loud, my darling Savon. And nothing has a sweeter sound than calling out so high and loud, my darling Savon. My darling Savon. That is Jonas and I, and that is their reimagined spin of Finland's first regional anthem. That is Savo's song. And you know what? I, I wanted to leave you enough time to play that track in full, but I do kind of want to revisit on that idea because I had no idea about this. I don't think most listeners had any idea. So the president of Finland pressed you guys to create this track. I, I can only imagine that's very intimidating because one, you got to hold it down for your country. <laughs> Right? Yeah, hold it down. And, and, and if you butcher it, they're coming after you, fam. But what it sounds like is from the YouTube comments, you got all kind of European countries praising what you guys got going on. But kind of talk to me a little bit more because I know you guys are uh, – I didn't give you guys enough time to kind of expand on that. But how do, the, how do those kind of conversations start? Does he show up to your door and you're like, hey, whoa, what's up, president? Or does he, like, call you? How does that work? <laughs> Does he, does he cut a hole in the ice and then pop up? And I, well, how does it work? <laughs> uh, it, kind of like that, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> we can we can live with that idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It was real. I mean, come on now. Like that's gotta be oh, so yeah. intimidating. Like I can only imagine if President Joe Biden was like, Chris. I need you to help us out because Fergie just butchered our national anthem. I need you to help us out, take it off <laughs> and for the NBA playoffs. I mean, I would be turning, yeah. you know, like a strawberry shortcake. I mean, how do you, how do you guys, uh, how, how did that situation go down? Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Don't spoil just, this. Uh, <laughs> it yeah, wasn't but, actually the president who yeah. called us, but yeah but it's pretty damn close enough. Well, kind of, who was it that was it the first lady was yeah. his assistant yeah. i mean it was like the president's local office who called yeah. us <laughs> okay but hey but still i mean he we put he put it in a like written demand it, yeah. <laughs> say that again rope yeah. yeah and he came to <laughs> yeah and he came to see the final show so yeah and yeah. he was Clapping to us. Because so <laughs> yeah. he kind of, I just did a little quick image while we were playing the song of him. He kind of looks a little intimidating. So like, I could, you know, as much as you guys yeah, are the happiest people in the world, he's got that eyes. sort of face that I'm like, are you happy? Are you clapping? <laughs> right. like, right, like Putin's uh, yeah. twin brother. He's a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Marissa, this is the happiest place in the world. I don't know if that's very necessarily the right thing No, because you got like the, the yin and the yang. You got Putin and then you got the fiddling president, you know? Right. <laughs> but I want to give another yeah. shout out again. We got the one and only Jonas and I joining us all the way from Finland. It's like 7.50 over there. So thank you again for joining us at a morning time yeah. in Los Angeles for the Chris College Show millennial talk show and i cannot wait to hear that brand new album drop later this year in fall of 2021 much success and keep yeah. in touch guys thank we'll, you guys have Ciao. a good one thank you chris thank you marissa thank you have thank a you. good one <laughs>